Okay, it's Kristen here with CKC, and we are at our Utah party. Woo! And we're gonna make this little bow clutch. It's a big bow clutch. You can fit lots of stuff in it. And this was just kind of my fun one for my daughter. Now we're gonna make mine with my fabric that I love. Now I did some of the um, prep here, but I kept it simple so that we're easy to catch up. So what we do here, um, is you'll take your two lining pieces. This is the inside lining. And you're gonna just put them right sides together and sew around the sides and the bottom, but leave this little opening here. And I already did that, okay? Does that kind of make sense to everyone? So after you sew it together, you'll just clip your corners to kind of reduce the bulk. Of course, take my pins out and then we'll flip it inside out. And this is how we make the lining first. Now you wanna make sure you do leave that hole. I almost always forget and have to go back and rip it out, but you'll need that hole later because that's how we'll turn it. And then you use any kind of little creaser you have to make the corners nice there. So we're kind of making all the little components before we construct it. All right, so there's our inside lining. Now you set that aside. Next, we are going to do the strap for it. And, and we have all this written on a paper so you don't have to memorize everything I'm saying. I'm just showing you so that when you get to that part, you'll know. So the strap, we're gonna fold it like you would bias tape. So first you'll fold it in half and iron it and then open it back up and go into the centers and iron it and then fold it back again and iron it. So you kind of have it in fourths. And then you'll sew down each side an eighth of an inch from the edge, which Brooklyn is gonna do for me while I continue on. So after you do that, the strap is done and you can set that aside. Okay, the next part is we'll do the little bow portion on it. So that started out as a big square. And so we'll fold that in half with right sides together and sew down the long, or the, the side edge on that. And the same thing with the little bow center. I folded it in half and sewed down that side. So now, we're gonna just turn those right side out. Any questions so far? Any questions? Okay. I'm sewing without pins is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some join pins? the club? No, she doesn't need pins. <laughs> okay. I'm now trying you have to pins. get her weaned. <laughs> we were talking the other day about how a lot of the other designers say they don't use pins, but I use pins on everything. I never. And use Brooklyn pins. does, and Melissa does, but I never use. Apparently, pins. we're the only one. Okay. We got someone that said hi from Boise. Hi from Boise. Hi from Boise. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let us know if they. Same things. All right, so I turned the big bow inside out, or right side out, and then you just put it so the seam is going down the center back and you would iron it, but I'm just pretending to iron it right now. The iron's way over there. Actually, does somebody want to iron it? Jeannie's gonna Make iron sure it. Make sure it's on. It might still be off. I don't like it in, but. If not, it'll be okay. And then I do the same thing with the little bow center. I turn that inside out. Now, if it was tinier, I would put a safety pin and use that to turn it right side out, but I've already done a few of these, so I know I can handle it without it. Plus, I forgot to bring a safety pin, so we will make it work. Okay, I've honestly never seen this tool before. I need to get one. Are it's they awesome. just over in the notions I, aisle? I think They're so. Awesome. I think I, I just call it my creaser tool. And poke through my fabric a lot. <laughs> I do that with this too. <laughs> it doesn't cure that, sorry. Okay, and so the same thing with this. You just iron that seam down the middle. Did you already get that? Yeah. Okay, but we're not gonna, yeah, actually, will you iron that one? <laughs> yeah. And then we'll show you what to do next. All right. She'll be fast. <laughs> Without burning yourself. Okay. Yay. We're getting our pieces ironed. I am fast, but I've been curdy most of them. Yes. Because it means I can keep sewing. Okay. So we have our little bow center. Now you're gonna fold that in half, put the raw edges together with right sides together and sew that little raw edge, please. Do, do you can pin it first if you want. <laughs> <laughs> now we're using all three eighths inches on all I, of these. I think that requires three pins. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning, middle, and end. At least. She would probably put eight on there. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Yes, you are. I'm not <laughs> that upset. No, I'm really not. Everybody knows the general rule will, is a pin an inch on normal fabrics and a pin every half inch on roll. 
Everybody knows that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, go. Okay, today I did a right. every five inches on Heschel. <laughs> <We're> rebels. <laughs> I don't pin unless they're rebels. We're sad. Okay. Can I continue? No. <laughs> okay, now that we, we have that long. sewed on the edges, we'll just turn that right side out. Just easier when people aren't watching. Okay. And then the bow piece that she ironed for us, we are going to just kind of stuff it in here. This is our bow center, so we want to slide it so that it's in the center. Again, you could use a big safety pin to get it through there, but I think I can, hopefully, I think I can do it. Uh, Quickie, whoops. no pressure. <laughs> You're just on live. Yeah, no pressure. Okay. Live feed. All right. Okay. You're not the only one. <laughs> you're saying, like, no. Okay. And well. you just kind of pull it on. Make sure both seams are on the back. And just kind of pull it until it looks neat. Yep. And you have a little bow. And it still has the raw edges. So now we're going to set that aside with our other pieces. Okay. Now we'll take our two flap pieces. This is, you know, the part that folds down so you can snap it. So we put those right side together. We sew the two sides and then the bottom or top, whichever you want to call it. So we'll sew the three sides and then again clip the corners just to reduce bulk. Flip it right side out. And use the little creaser tool. Does Jeannie want to iron for us again? Sure, please. <laughs> now you don't have to iron it. It just makes it all look a little bit neater. And it's really hard to go back and iron this when you're done. So I would suggest it. Okay, please. Thank you. Okay, after that's ironed, we set that aside. Now it's time to start putting this stuff together. So we're going to take our... I've got stuff everywhere. We're going to take our main outer piece here. Just one of them. And you're going to lay it down right side up. Then we're going to take our strap that we made and put it, sorry, I have to cut threads off. I'm that kind of a person. All right. Are so these you, instructions going to be on the wall? Yes, it's all going to be written out. But you still want to watch now because it's more fun this way. Okay. <laughs> so this, we'll say this is the top since you guys are the audience. So you want to put it, you can either put it on this side or this side. It's up to you. This will be the front. So whichever side you want it to end up on, we're going to put it here. So I folded my strap over and put it down about half an inch. That gives us a little wiggle room after we sew. So we are going to pin these. Very important to pin <laughs> these. Because <laughs> we're going to have all kinds of layers going on here in a minute. All right, so that, there's that. Now our bow, we're going to take the bow and put it, you can either center it from top to bottom or you can put it right below it. Um, it's up to you. Because keep in mind, well, yeah, centering it's fine. Now you'll notice that the bow kind of curves there, so it might seem like it's not going to reach, but that's actually good because once you start putting stuff in, you don't want the bow to be hanging out floppy. I don't like floppy. So we're going to pin that edge straight there, even though it seems like it doesn't want to be straight. Let me scoot that down. We have entertainment going on with baby yes. over there. <laughs> and some fans. Say hi. <laughs> And some more fans and my sewing student. <laughs> All right, got one side pinned. Normally, I would just throw things together, but I know I'm going to want to use this and have it be cute. So you got to wait for me to be picky. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to be good. All right. Can anybody guess what we're going to do next after I pin this? So. <laughs> so? I'm guessing you're going to put on the top flap. Put on the top, yeah. <laughs> yes. 
All right, so you just want to make sure all those things are kind of straight. Now we're going to take this piece and put it right sides together. How many pins are you going to require, Brooke? Um, probably one more at the top and one more at the bottom in addition to the ones you have there. Okay. Really? Is that all? No. She wants you to take out all the other ones and put it through all of them. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Remember what I was saying about me wanting to be able to use this? No pressure. <laughs> I can still go back and help with your cherry skirt, right? Revenge. <laughs> it's okay. Whatever you do to it, I can fix. Just kidding. All right, so again, on this one, we're going to be, we're pinning the sides and the bottom. We're going to leave the top completely open for now. So just make sure as you're pinning it that you're doing it the right way because you do not want your strap at the bottom or when you pick it up, all your stuff will fall out. We're almost there, I promise. Okay, we've got quite a few new people. Let's see. Going to sew in an inside pocket for a, what? 40 clock? I don't know. Gun. What? And a pocket for a food. I don't know. Oh, she's gonna make one inside the purse. She's gonna mm -hmm. she's gonna make one and put a gun pocket in for her control oh, weapon. Oh, okay. That is an awesome <laughs> idea. And with your cute bow on the front, no one will see it coming, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Is that good? Yes. Okay, so she's gonna sew the sides and the bottom for us. Sorry. You're good. And while you sew, you want to make sure your strap kind of stays down. Just no, sew and keep your fingers pin. crossed. I know. <laughs> right? Good luck, Brooklyn. And she doesn't keep her fingers crossed. That is like oh, a am crime. I, <laughs> I had never heard of this crime before. Oh, yeah. Last week. <laughs> Yeah, but I replace my needles like every day. Yes, anyway. I didn't read though that they'll they only break if your needle's not sharp enough. If your needle's sharp enough, it'll slide right past it. Now I'm not saying that's my opinion. I'm just saying I heard somebody say it. I removed my pins. Hey, Nikki told me that she also sews over her pins, and her grandma taught her how, and she's never hit a pin. So I think I just need lessons from her grandma. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> but she's your sister, right? Okay. I'll buy you new needles. Like <laughs> Does anyone have any questions live or on Periscope? Anybody? I like this kind of project that's just kind of quick and simple, and when we're done, you'll all get to do it yourself. It's really cute. It is. It's is it all wrong side out? out? Yes. <laughs> we're on our third side here. And Brooklyn's lucky that she doesn't break her needle as much. She's sewing over pins. She's just weird. So yeah, on the corners, she went right off the edge and um, backstitch, which works great. You could also leave your needle down here. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right. So you can also put your needle down here and rotate it. That works too. So now we get to remove all your pins. Your <laughs> pins. All I my pins. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, yeah, it was my pins too, huh? It was your machine. No. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you, Brooklyn, for doing that because I. Yeah. All right. So now we're gonna clip our corners. <laughs> You're back stitching. All right. Habit. It's a really good habit. All right. Now here, you're going to kind of peek inside. Make sure that everything sewed in place right. See, it's kind of cute in there. But we're not going to turn it right side out yet. Okay. We're just going to leave it like that. So now we're going to figure out. Remember which side you had your strap on, which is the front of the bow. We're going to take our flap. You remember the little flap that we made? We're actually going to slide that right down inside. and pin that in place. Now it should be the exact same width as your hole, so it's it's kind of hard for me to hold it up and show. But we're going to pin it on there. You want it on the same side that you originally had as your front. Okay, and we're going to just pin that in place. And in a minute that's going to be sandwiched between 
the main fabric and the lining fabric. If you forget to put your flap in here, you'll just end up not having any kind of closure on it, which would work for a purse, but since this is a clutch with the strap on the side, you'll lose some of your stuff. So. Unless you want a zipper. That's true. You could do a zipper too. I thought about doing it, but for today's audience, we're going to do snaps instead. So we brought some snaps for everyone to try. I just discovered cam snaps last week and they're pretty cool. They are fun. They're really cool. Will Open there be a matching wallet tutorial? Yes, that would work too. Okay, so you see I did just the flap. The flap's sewn on there now. And so this is all of our main part. Now I'm going to take the lining that we made at the beginning. Again, make sure it has the hole there or you're going to be stuck in a minute. Now this is right side out. This is wrong side out. We're going to slide it down in. Just stuff it in there. We're getting close, I promise. Now we're going to match up these edges. So you just stuff it in there the best that you can. We put the seams together and all the edges together. Everybody still following? Is that enough pins? No. No. <laughs> it's not even enough pins for me. All right. Anybody have any jokes to tell while I... I'm glued. In? Not literally. No, <laughs> not literally? Okay. Well, as long as she's glued, that's good. As long as nobody falls asleep on us. All right. I'm getting scarce on you here. No, no, you're so what she will do now is we have the two layers um, pinned together all around and again the flap is still just pinned in place. We're gonna have Brooklyn go around here and sew the 3 8 inch just all the way around. Can go I for it. turn it to sew so the pins are up? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Oh, you're sure? <laughs> <laughs> I have to do it like that. <laughs> That's there true. we go. Okay. Oh, look, there's blue thread. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have blue thread in the bottom. You were looking for that, right? She was looking for white. <laughs> Thank you, Brooklyn. There she goes, sewing over more pins. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom might need to push the seam allowance if any particular way. Scope sounds no. sewing advice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the seams you can take either way. You can also serge all of your edges as you go. They're going to end up fully enclosed, which makes me kind of just lazy and skip past them. But if you do want to be accurate and super sturdy, you can serge all of the, the seams as you go. But, you know, it's not really going to go through the laundry or anything like that. At least I hope not. That's true. It could if you needed to. We'll see what ends up in it. All the way around, right? No, yes, no all the way around. Now you could also um, put interfacing on any of your layers. If you want it to be more of a stiff purse, you could do interfacing first. <laughs> all right. Thank you. You did awesome. Okay, remove our pins. Now, this is my favorite part. Now, we should have all of our pieces on here. If you have any pieces left over, you missed something. Okay, everything should be in here now. Okay, now on the bottom, remember... <laughs> What in the world? Okay, I panicked for a minute. Okay, pull your lining out, and remember we have a hole there in the bottom, right? So now we'll use that hole to pull it all the way through. And I like to I'm just one of the sewing groups grab that I'm the in. They one. called this birthing a bag. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> we're now birthing a bag. No, we're not. We're pulling the bow. Okay. Come on, just kidding. Okay. So you just go ahead and pull that all the way through. <laughs> And here are our parts. You kind of make sure everything's kind of where it belongs. Now, again, you'll use your tool now while there's still that hole in there and reach through as far as you can just to make those points nice there at the bottom. <laughs> Aren't those colors cute though? Mm -hmm. yes. Is that anybody That's else's like style? Color. I love, I love it. Love it. Okay. Ross says slightly easier yeah. than birthing. Slightly, <laughs> just a little bit easier. 
I don't know. I've had six kids, but I've only made two of these, so. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> easier to recovery, too. <laughs> That's right. I okay. It depends on how many layers of interfacing you used. True. It could be hard. Okay. So now, um, of course, this is the lining. We will slide it in, but remember that hole is still there, and you don't want to be losing stuff in there, pennies and Unless whatever else. So, that's <laughs> true. We're going to Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Brick, so Brooklyn's going to sew that shut. You can just do it near the edge or one-eighth in, whatever you want. You can hand stitch it and kind of do a little hidden stitch if you want to get fancy. <laughs> but it's going to be way in there. So. <laughs> you have a side stitch that way? My side stitch only goes to the left. I right. push it all the way to the right. Oh, mine doesn't do that. Cool. I, I make settings for it, program my machine. Yeah, mine doesn't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we have our two layers. We're just going to push our lining right inside. Cute. Bam. So cute. Okay. You can get picky in there. and Isn't that so cute? Yes. And again, remember I talked about how the bow was kind of pulling? This is where it's good that it was pulling because you, you wouldn't want a totally floppy bow once you start putting stuff in. I just really like it like that, so obviously I did it up. Okay, now on the back, you're going to want to put some kind of closure. You could do magnets or buttons or Velcro, but we are going to do snaps. I'll just show you how to do snaps because I forgot to get them out. Okay, so on this, for your snaps, see it'll go down like that. What I did is you'll want to measure and just draw your dot. I will demonstrate with my seam ripper. <laughs> um, I measured two inches over and half an inch up. And then you can just poke a hole there and do the same thing here. Two inches over, half inch up. And the way I'd like to do it is I, I put it where I want it and pin it in place. So pretend I marked that, okay? After I mark it, I put the pins, I pin it in place where I want it, and I get my stabber. I call it a stabber the piercer, you know, the fabric piercer for the snaps. And I actually hold all the layers and poke through all the layers at the same time and do the same thing here. That way when you open it up and you're installing your snaps, they're automatically going to line up because you poked them at the same time. You even poke it through the front though? No. Not through the front. Oh, okay. So See, that's where I, I guess I did it, but I didn't say it. I reach under there with my finger and pulled it away. And, and then poked. poked my finger. <laughs> that was brilliant, wasn't it? But that is how I did it. So you don't want to poke through the front. When I said all the layers, I really just meant the flap and that back part. So, And then you'll install some of your snaps. Here, I have this one. You'll want these pointing up, of course, and those pointing down. And then they'll just snap in place. Now, at first when I did it, I wasn't sure if two snaps would be enough. But I loaded all of my sewing supplies in here just to come here and... It, you know, I then I snapped it and I was able to hold it and shook it around and the stuff didn't fall out. So, so that is how we do it. Yay! Yay. Yay. Any questions? questions? So now you can make your own. We'll have um, the instructions on the blog tomorrow, but these ladies get to do it first. We have the Yay. instructions here for them and everything you need to cut. So, <laughs> thank you. Bye, guys. Swipe down. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs>